So if you're a regular to Torreveca in the summertime, you will know come six o'clock at night until well after midnight, this road is absolutely chock-a-block in July and August with people trying to get into the car park here. And as you can see, the car park is now closed. Everything's been taken away and even the machines to pay are gone. The fairgrounds packing up Bar Isla is packing up also, which means they're getting ready for the next stage. So over the road, they've fenced off this area, which will be the next part of construction, will be this area here. Obviously the fish market, lunger, fish processing bit is all but finished. They brought in these new tarmacking machines on Friday evening. So they're going to obviously get ready to tarmac this side of the road. And then all the fun begins in Torreveca. It is really quiet though. So in here was the machines to pay for parking. They're gone. Even the guy that works in the office is no longer there. It's all locked up. Ready for demolition. It's exciting, isn't it? Or does it shock you to see Torreveca this quiet? So more and more of the fairgrounds has packed up over the weekend. He's just packed up yesterday. More and more packed up, ready to go away. It's going to be months that they're going to be away for. So make sure you subscribe to see, because I'll do update videos of the construction work over the next six months to show you exactly how the build is going until completion. I think the really exciting work will be done in the next three or four months. Obviously the big ground works. This area is all getting dug up to put a 600 car car park underneath. Which should be really interesting. But as you can see, there's not much left of the amusements. The last to go will always be the Dodgems. But let's go over and see Bar Isla because that is packing up also. Even the pay machine for here has gone also. Same times. This will all get demolished and then I'll show you the old building that's been kept. So we had noticed that Bar Isla hadn't had its chairs out. And more importantly, the fishermen hadn't been going for their coffee in the morning, which was a bit strange, but I thought it was maybe just because it was a Friday. But then as I've came over, you can see that they, they're taking everything down. They're taking the lights off, wires, Packing everything up. Fridges are all outside. Going this way. And the good thing about when you stay here is you see all the fishermen in the morning and they come back in off the boats. And they'll come to Bar Isla and have their breakfast. As we could see inside, they're starting to pack things away, pack things in boxes kitchen side you'll see that they don't know if you can see through there oh, that's maybe too it's too crazy they're starting to pack up the kitchen dismantle everything so this building will come down and this building's all coming down it's all getting knocked down for the new development as you can see it's really old Just a 
dumping ground really for the fishermen. Come down to the the bottom of the car park. I've obviously got this building here that will be knocked down. And then you have this building, which is over a hundred year old. This has been getting completely renovated and that'll be the headquarters, that'll be the office for the Guardia Seville and the port, port authorities. And then the little building that you see next to it here, that's also getting knocked down. As you can see, they're starting to paint the outside. They've refurbished it, new windows, new persona blinds. As you can see, the front still needs a little bit work done to it. This top bit here was a plaque that, for historical reasons, had to be covered up due to the fact that it was Franco. So this area will all be opened up also. So obviously down this bit, you still have Bar La Marina this area. But other than that, really quiet today, Sunday. There are obviously tourists still waiting to go on the tour trains. Thank you.